I have seen so many Cricut tips and hacks on TikTok. I usually just scroll through, but there was one that piqued my interest. Even though I was not convinced it was going to work, I still wanted to give it a try. For this project, I am going to need my Cricut Explore Air 2, a doormat, some freezer paper, and some Flex Seal. I opened Cricut Design Space and started a new project. I then imported the design that I wanted into Cricut Design Space. You can find many different designs in the Cricut Design Space library, but I wanted to use this quirky saying for my doormat. I resized the design so it would fit on my mat. I then needed to ungroup the letters so that I can take out the parts that I didn't want. I am going to attempt to make a stencil out of the freezer paper, so I needed to make sure that all of the letters had the spaces. To align them back up, you are simply going to select all of the letters that you want and click align, and then you are going to hit align bottom, and it will align all of the letters nice and straight again. Because I ungrouped my image, I need to make sure that I attach all of it back together so that it cuts nicely. Then I hit make it and I need to make sure that I mirror the image because it's going to be a stencil so I need it to cut out backwards. And then I'm going to select my uh, material which I use cardstock for this. I am going to hit more on pressure that way it cuts it nicely. The next thing I needed to do was add my freezer paper shiny side up onto my light grip mat. I made sure the paper was nice and flat so the blade doesn't tear it. I loaded the mat into my Cricut machine. Then I hit the flashing Cricut button. While I waited for the stencil to cut out, I turned on my Cricut Easy Press to preheat. You can also use an iron on a low setting. There were many things that made me doubt this hack. One of them being that the freezer paper was too delicate and it was going to rip once I started pulling it off of the Cricut mat. This was one of the reasons why I used a light grip mat. And when I started pulling up the freezer paper, I was sure to go very slow. The Cricut tools helped me get underneath the paper so I could easily pull it up. After I peeled up the bigger letters, I moved on to the little letters. You do wanna keep the little parts that are inside of each letter for the stencil. This is where my hesitancy grew even more. I started pulling up the freezer paper stencil from the mat and I thought there is no way I'm getting this off of the mat in one piece. I was being even more careful than before not to rip the paper. And because the paper was so large and flimsy, it kept folding back onto the mat. And I was just over it if I'm being completely honest, but I knew if this worked, I would have a super cute mat for my front door. But I kept going and eventually I got it off of the mat. Now I knew I wasn't out of the woods just yet because there was a few more things that I needed to do. I'm laying the freezer paper stencil just on top of the doormat trying to get it pretty straight and in the center. I'm not too particular about anything being exactly perfect so I wasn't going to worry too much. Now I'm taking my Cricut Easy Press and I am just going to lay it right on top of that freezer paper and let it sit for a few seconds. This is supposed to melt the wax on the opposite side so that the freezer paper sticks to the doormat just like a vinyl stencil would, but vinyl can be a bit tricky to work with, so that's why I wanted to give this method a try. I found that working with the larger piece first and then doing the smaller pieces was the easiest for me. Putting the little pieces in place probably took the longest time. It is very tedious because they kept popping up as soon as I would move them just the slightest little bit, but I finally got it. And then I'm taking the Easy Press and just placing it on top of them. I'm not moving around the Easy Press too much because I don't want to move any of the little pieces. Melting the freezer paper doesn't take too long and I actually was pretty scared that it was going to melt too much onto the doormat and I wasn't gonna be able to get it off. Once I started moving the doormat, I noticed that the freezer paper was popping off. And so I decided to just leave it in my craft room, but that was a huge mistake. I didn't realize how much the flex seal would smell. So I highly recommend that you do this project outside. At this point, it was too late for me. I just went for it. And as I was spraying the flex seal, I was sure it was going to leak underneath the stencil. I was able to spray a little bit at a time and I even went on the opposite side to make sure that it was all covered. After it was all covered, I let it dry for a few hours to make sure that I didn't get any of that flex seal anywhere. As I started peeling up the freezer paper from the doormat, I had a glimmer of hope that all of my hard work was going to pay off. 
I wanted to be careful while pulling up the freezer paper because if I noticed any of the letters not fully coated, I needed to make sure that I could lay down the stencil again and spray more Flex Seal on it. Everything is looking good so far. Now I'm going to take all of those little pieces out. As I pulled more of them off, I was sure that at least one of them bled through, but I have to say that this Cricut TikTok hack definitely does work. If Cricut DIY home decor projects really aren't your thing, no worries, I got you. I have a short playlist right here where I share how to use your Cricut to make stencils for paper crafting and so much more. Check it out.